These three basils that I've yanked right out of the arrow garden, I'm going to show you three different ways of actually taking the plant out of these pods. One of them is a good way, one of them is maybe not the best way, and the other one is, I don't know, we'll call it experimentation. What's going on my plant peoples? I am the ADHD gardener where I use gardening, house plants, and humor as a form of mental health therapy. And if you've been following me, you already know that I need some stress management. But plants are my therapy, so they keep me nice and calm and chill. What I have right here in this video is all about the arrow garden again, part two. Now, if you haven't seen my part one about, you know, unboxing the actual arrow garden itself, I'll drop it down in the link and up in a card somewhere in the video so you can go check that out. We're gonna be trying out our own seeds. Let's just say you have a bunch of spare seeds laying around. We're gonna use those. We're also gonna see what other mediums we can use to grow into these, you know, this arrow garden pods. I'm gonna be using a pool noodle. That's gonna be cool. And also a little experimentation with propagation and cuttings of tomato plants. Now I have a bunch of tomato plants out there. We're gonna be propagating that in the arrow garden, see if it works and everything is gonna be cheap, on the cheap. Let's go. We already know that this has to get cleaned, obviously. That's a given. So aside from that, another thing to really note is that when you're trying to grow plants in here with the intention of them being transplanted out, you know, into another location, I would suggest to not wait until they get to like, you know, this size. Because that means you're gonna have more breakage of the roots when you're trying to pull the plant out. Now one of them could be purely yanking. I've also seen in a contained constructive way of doing it is just cutting down your roots so it's more manageable in size. When just yanking it out of the pod, you will manhandle it and basically you're going to kind of like screw it up and damage it. That in turn will make your plant go through shock. Will your plant bounce back? Yes, it will, but uh, it's still gonna go to shock. So I'm just gonna help it by kind of like bringing down these roots a little bit. I already know that if I need to pull this out of this pod that um, I'm gonna reduce the amount of, you know, trouble that I'm gonna be having. All right, this is as low as it's gonna get. Could you leave the plastic inside of the dirt? I mean, you could, but it's not good. You're leaving plastic in the soil. This is gonna hurt my feelings, but all right, let's do it. Oh my God, I'm sorry, plant. Oh my gosh, okay. Remember, we did minimize all that extra yanking by properly cutting it the right way, so that wasn't a problem. We just reduced the amount of damage to our plants. So will this plant go through shock? Yes, it will. I have a feeling it will, but it will bounce back given that there's a lot of roots on here. We're going to encourage it to grow and establish more roots. And that is where, you know, I love my root hormone powder people. So I'm gonna sprinkle some of this onto here, onto the roots, and then we should be good to go. Whoop, that was a lot. Okay, we're just potting it up in your favorite soil mixture. Of course, we're not gonna really go into what type of soil and all that, but just get yourself a little container and we're gonna be potting it up. One thing I wanna mention, and when it comes to the arrow garden, or maybe it could be just, you know, veggie specific, I'm not too sure, but I tried to grow a long, what is it, a sugar snap pea or something in this arrow garden. This really did not work out that well, but I will show you because this is what matters is that notice that the root system is not big on this plant particularly. So if you were to just pull this out, there would be minimal damage or maybe just not a lot. Look, all right. I mean, there was some, but it wasn't a massive amount of root system like it was, for example, basil. Look at this. Now, the other idea I'm having was to cut off part of the plastic, okay? Remember, oh my gosh, I think in the end, your roots still gonna have a problem, you know, with the, some damage, some trauma to this. So we're trying to minimize it. All right, there was some snippage of the roots. I saw that. All right. Oh, I cut that root. Oh, I saw that get cut. Oh man, that. All right, some, some roots still got cut in the end, okay? So... Now see how that's by itself, all right? Now the plast, see, how, you know what in the end, is there any other really good way or better way of pulling this off? I don't think there is. Oh, okay, no, you know what? That actually wasn't a bad idea. All right, you did wind up pulling, okay, that came off, but you still have a lot of the root system going, all right? 
of course you still have the piece of plastic which if you pull this off in a smaller state like let's say the plant leaves are you know a little smaller oh my gosh maybe that's a bad idea oh oh hey it worked hey check it out and it still's got boatloads of roots on here i mean there is a like a big root ball here i'm sure oh i all right i don't want to make it worse okay so now all you do is pot this one up now okay what do we do for the first one we cut the roots and then pulled the other one was we cut the plastic off and the other other one could be just fully cutting the plastic all you know in the long way all the way but then you would not be able to use the pot again i mean you could cut this right over here lengthwise but then you would not be able to use the pot again so then i don't even know what you'd you know what i mean so this you could still use because look it holds up the plant so we can work with that maybe if we're using a piece of foam or maybe i don't know i don't even know if you'd be able to use this again unless you're like really creative so i don't think i like this option but it worked out pretty good okay so what i'm gonna do right now is actually just yank this whole thing out without cutting or anything then i'm gonna put it into my crack key milk jug now i've done a video on this and how to set that all up i'll drop it in the description down below so you can go check that out but of course not only just lettuce we're gonna grow some basil all right here we go oh my gosh this is really gonna suck oh my god this by far is the worst way to take this out without cutting them down without pruning it or anything oh this is going to receive the most shock ever oh geez oh god this is gonna suck people my plants hate me my, do you hear the basil screaming do you hear it no my roots oh my gosh i'm killing my plant no you're kill. oh damn oh dude that is a boatload of oh my god oh man damn okay okay few things oh my gosh okay number one thing oh my goodness a uh, number one main difference is is that oh the way it we tore this off this is just terrible terrible look at that this plant is by far going to go through the most shock because it had the most damage all right notice when we did it the first time we cut off we pruned off a lot of the roots so we minimize the damage this one right here we just pulled the crap out of it and this is the result of it oh my gosh this hurt my soul this is by far going to be the longest and strongest shock so just remember that in the next few days this crap will wilt like crazy so now i'm just gonna put this in my little pool noodle oh my gosh my poor plant of course i'm gonna clean up my counter close up and put away my root powder and I'll definitely of course clean this and then we'll be back all right now i want to try something when it comes to starting some seedlings you know with this arrow garden now this came with of course this little piece that goes in i did order from amazon you know something similar to that i think it was like a 50 pack of these or something similar for like 10 bucks or something but for now i have one extra one from the arrow garden i'm gonna use that one as like i guess the control or something i don't know This one is going to be experimental. This, I took a chunk of pool noodle, right? Because I've been experimenting with hydro. I'm taking this pool noodle. Luckily, I'm using a chopstick. All right. And I'm just going to, oof. I want to poke a hole through it so the roots have somewhere to go. All right. Look, there we go. I want to make it a decent size because when I put inside of the seed and it germinates, it has somewhere to go out of. Because I don't think that the seed, you know, the roots are gonna penetrate the foam exactly so much. So I wanna be able to have it, you know, an escape route for it to go. For now, I'm just gonna put that right there. Okay. And of course this is gonna come down. So I'm just gonna wind up shoving a bunch in here. All right, I managed to get two. I don't know, I do not know if this is going to work. Okay, I do not know. So this is where I guess the experimental phase comes in. This experimentation is purely for shits and giggles. With Lekka Balls, I've come to find out that it works good in certain situations, but it does not work well in others. 
So I want to see if this is going to work in this arrow garden. I wet the balls up. Oh my gosh, that sounds so funny. Okay, I wet the balls up because, you know, I want it to retain a little bit of moisture. I'm going to throw some seeds in there, and I don't really know if it's going to work. I wanted to see if I transferred this extra seedling that I had from my NFT system, could I put it inside of there already? So I took a piece of foam, and I tried to curve it a little on, you know, like a cone shape. So, and I put a slit, and now, ooh, I'm trying to fit, oh shit. So now I try to fit this in there, in the little slit, enough, and then have this hanging out. And then of course, you have this right here. Now I need it to be long enough. Now I needed this to be long enough in order to kind of hang down and touch the water. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping this works. What I wanted to do also is to kind of give it a better chance. So I'm gonna look and find out where, I'm gonna look and find out where the water is coming out of to kind of really make sure that it touches as soon as it, you know, as soon as the water comes out. And now we can see. All right, it's been a while. It's been a while, so I had to do a few adjustments when it came to this arrow garden. I had a root system, it just didn't survive. I mean, the, so far, this one is in the foam, and that one's working. This one is also in foam, as you can see here. That one's working. This one did not, but I'm going to replace it with something else because I had another little seedling here. It's not doing so hot, so I got to replace it. All right, not bad. It looks fragile, so we have to be very, very careful. I'm going to use the foam again. I'm going to stick that right in there. I'm hoping this one is strong enough. I think it will be. Also, notice that freaking algae. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. So I'm going to just kind of gently, you see that? That root, I want it to be, I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying it has to be out of it, but I want it to be long enough so it can get into the water. It has access to it. Do you see that? So I'm going to be putting this toward the water. Okay, we do have some algae, and I'm assuming that also has to do with over here. I did not see this algae problem, or maybe I did before. I'm not really sure. Maybe I never noticed. Or pay attention. Pay attention, people. Apparently, I was not paying attention. Okay. This one's in foam. This one also, look at that, no algae. It is growing rather slow. Look, there we go. That's some root system. It is growing a little slow, but I'm assuming also maybe because it's having a hard time growing through the foam. This one right here, I gotta take this off. Okay, this one did not grow. This one actually looks kind of moldy. That's okay, we'll replace it with something else with another seedling or another seed and wait for it to grow. I bought this from Amazon. Now these were the replacement ones. Now, I mean, they did good, but mm, I'm still waiting for something to come out of this. The one over there did not work out. This one didn't really work out too much. I see it struggling, so let's check out the last one. This is growing through those thingies. And this one's actually growing. Look at the seedling. So I'm assuming it was maybe just a bad seed. I think it was just a bad seed. I just wanna try something. Okay, I have a tomato cutting. This is a sucker from one of the dwarf tomatoes that I'm growing right now. So I wanna see, can this be propagated inside of an arrow garden? I guess we'll find out, right? Being that this one didn't really do anything going and there's no whole, ooh, idea, idea. What if I poke a hole right through this? See? All right, this one cut open a little bit. Obviously, I kind of pushed it a little bit, but whatever, it's still gonna work. So, whoop, I'm wondering, could I take a cutting? Put it right through there, and then put it through here. Actually, I'm thinking about making this go through two. Only because these things can maintain water, hold on to water, and that could possibly encourage some more root growth. So I'm gonna stick them both in there and see what happens. One week later. I'm in the kitchen cooking, right? So I'm staring at this and I, you know, just wanted to check them out. This is doing fantastic. Oh, that's growing. It's looking great. Next one. Now, my question was about the tomato. Now, can I get it to develop some roots? What do we got? Oh, we got roots, baby! If you want to transplant anything out of the arrow garden, now would be the time. 
when they just start developing some serious roots. This was just the foam. But you see the roots? They started growing right through the foam. That's fantastic. Okay, yeah, we do have, I mean, this is getting a little dirty, um, you know, a little dirty-ish, but, you know, whatever. Okay, now this one's doing good. I can take this off. I actually forgot what I grew here. I think this is kale. This one, not sure, but if it hasn't grown by now, it's not going to grow. So if this did not do anything, I'm going to have to just change up the seeds. It has to do with the seeds. That's a problem. It has to be the seeds because everything else is doing just fine. I'm going to change it up again, and I'm going to put new seeds in it and see what happens. I'm trying to make some dinner, but in the meanwhile, let's check out what is going on with this little one over here. Let's see. Please tell me. Oh, yes, we have one. Apparently, it was the seeds. If you have bad seeds, old seeds, or maybe some seeds that have been touched by, like, some liquid or whatever, yeah, they're not going to grow. Let's check out the tomato because I need to transplant this, but I haven't had any time because I'm too busy studying in a nursing book. So let's check it out. Whoa, I need to do something about that. I really hope you enjoyed this video and you got some good information out of it. If you did enjoy this video and you want to show me some love, then don't forget to smash that like button. I really appreciate it. It really does help my channel out. Also, if you haven't already, then consider subscribing. Drop a video when I can because I am trying to, you know, handle some other stuff in my life when in doubt you can always find me on facebook and instagram i'm on there all the time i basically live on social media so you can always catch me there until the next time you guys you and me both are going to be growing our happiness one plant at a time one day at a time and please use your plants as a form of stress management and stress chill okay until the next episode you guys peace and love